Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. That's right, and good evening, everybody. Normally, we think about frogs on a log, but uh, tonight we're going to show you pelicans. That's right, this is the Buffalo Bill Reservoir, and there's like 15 pelicans on this log out there. Uh, Floyd Houston Tillery got this picture for us. Cool looking picture, Floyd. Thanks for sending that in. And this is from Lynn Richardson. This is Polkak Bench, and as you can see, there's a lot of smoke off in the distance. You can barely see Hart Mountain back there. So, yeah, they had a little bit of smoke in Wyoming today, of course, here in Billings. We had a lot of smoke as well. It's not quite as bad now as it was uh, about 5.30 tonight. We had uh, unhealthy for some sensitive groups, and it was pretty bad. Now, we're down to moderate air quality. It's 81 degrees, still kind of cloudy. We have an east wind at about three miles per hour, and that's been the problem. The winds have been fairly light most of the day, so the smoke that was here just kind of hung around here. And what we are anticipating is another cold front to move through next time, probably sometime tomorrow. And as it does so, it should blow out most of the smoke and possibly even bring us a chance for some scattered showers. But in the meantime, here's what we're doing today. Our high temperature got up to 93. 84 is your normal high, the record 99 back in 1969, record low is 39 and 92. No precip to talk about, so we're a little bit behind for the month of August. For the year, we're still ahead of normal at 1124, only need to be at 985. And as you can see, our current temperatures around the state, they are cooling off a little bit. We're into the 60s and 70s out in the west, although it's still 82 over in Helena, 81 at Billings right now, and elsewhere we're looking at temps generally into the 70s. A little cool over at Sheridan and at Worland in the 60s at this hour. These are our reported highs, though. Look at all the 90s through here. Yeah, it was a toasty one. Just a few places like over at Lewistown got 89 degrees. We had 86 over Butte, 87 over in Dillon today, and Cody came in at 86 for their reported high. Now, that red flag warning we had through here, that has expired, has not been updated. The winds are dying down tonight, and that's good news, but we still have got a lot of smoke in west central Montana. It's basically on the unhealthy to hazardous air for that region, so just like it's been for about two weeks now. Very hard to breathe in that area. That smoke just kind of hangs in that bowl around the Missoula area. Now, our Th forecast thunderstorm forecast shows just a few isolated showers possible in the southwest tonight. Let's check it out on the Doppler radar. You'll notice, yeah, we still got a couple of scattered showers through here. I don't think they'll make it into the Billings area tonight. The reason being, we have a nice ridge of high pressure over us right here. Circulation around that high is clockwise, so it is pushing that smoke back uh, towards the west. But what we do see is another cold front moving through. And this is all monsoon moisture coming up from the four corner states. And eventually, that monsoon moisture is going to get in place about the same time that cold front gets here. Here's the way to look at the surface. Today, we've had that warm front move through eastern Montana, really cooked us up very nicely. Monsoon moisture starts moving in as well by sometime Thursday, 6 o'clock. Here comes your moisture about the same time that cold front moves through. That'll kick off some showers. Probably one of the best chances of rain we've had in about two or three weeks. And even on Friday, look for more widely scattered rain showers moving through the region as well. Now tonight, we'll see temps cool back down to the 50s and 60s out in the west. Back here in the east, mostly into the 60s with clearing skies. Tomorrow, back into the 90s in eastern Montana. Billings, a little bit cooler because that cold front is coming through. Maybe about 86 degrees. It'll be mostly into the 70s and 80s in the far west. Look for widely scattered rain showers around that cold front. Uh, then for tonight at midnight, partly cloudy skies. It'll be 76 at midnight, 66 in the morning, and then that 40% chance of rain at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Won't that feel good? 86 degrees will be your high on Thursday. 20% chance for showers on Friday, 84, 88 on Saturday. Same thing on Sunday, 89 on Monday. We'll wind up with 86 degrees on Tuesday and about 86 on Wednesday. And all of that as we start into next week under mostly sunny skies. Let's go back to the desk.